y'all welcome back to my kitchen or welcome if you are new my name is bethany or budget bethany and welcome to this week's what's for dinner video so i like to share these every single week in hopes to give y'all some meal ideas to cook at home for your family as well But first, I'm going to be sharing this sausage, green bean, and potato skillet. And I actually saw this last week over on Valerie's channel from the Hargit Live um, in our What's for Dinner collab that we did. So first, all I've got to do is add some butter into my skillet and some olive oil. And then I'm going to dice up these sausages and throw those in there as well. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my high while my sausage are cooking i'm going to go ahead and get my potatoes boiling so i just washed them and skinned them and now i'm dicing them up i'm going to throw them in a pot and get them to boiling until they're good and fork tender and then once they're fork tender i'm just going to add them into the skillet with the sausages jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high now that my sausages are done cooking, I'm going to add in my can of green beans. And you do want to wait till last to add in your green beans just because it doesn't take them very long to cook. And then I'm just waiting on my potatoes to finish boiling. And then I'm going to add them in there as well. I'm going to mix it all up really well and dinner will be served. Even if the sky is falling down it just looks so pretty to me i don't know if it's just me or what but i just like the green from the green beans the brown and then the little bit of white from the potatoes but here it is once it was all plated up i really enjoyed this dinner so thank you valerie for sharing it last week in your what's for dinner On the next night, it was actually a family night, and I didn't feel like breaking out the camera and recording all of me cooking dinner, so I just decided to share a few clips with y'all, and I did make some tuna noodle pasta um, salad, so right here, all I did was drain out um, the juice from two cans of tuna. I dumped that over my bowl. I boiled some noodles, and once they were done, I added them in there with my tuna, mixed in some mayonnaise. I also added in two hard-boiled eggs, cut those up really little and fine then just mix that all up together. Also added in a little bit of relish and some salt and pepper. Then I also made some sweet pea salad and I've shared this many times over here on my channel. All I do is open up a can or two of, of sweet peas, drain out the juice, dump them in a bowl, mix in some mayonnaise, also add in some hard boiled eggs, mix that up, add some salt and pepper and you've got some sweet pea salad. So we also fry some pork chops. My husband did that outside in our little fryer. And then I also made some rice and maters and to make rice and maters, all you have to do is boil some white rice and then open up a can of petite diced tomatoes mix that up and you've got rice and maters and that was our dinner for this night and 
then for the next night my mama cooked dinner so i didn't have to cook and did she not cook y'all it just looks so beautiful but she made a shrimp bowl or her and my daddy i'm gonna give the credit to my mama but her and my daddy both cooked it it's just got some sausages it's got some shrimp and some potatoes and some corn on the cob and that's how we did our low country bowl On the next night for dinner, I cooked a recipe from this Pioneer Woman's Cookbook, and it was part of the cookbook collab that is hosted by Tamara from Southern Wife Everyday Life. And I'll have this cookbook linked in my description box, but in case you happen to miss the video that went up this past Friday, I can't share the exact recipe, but I can just share bits and pieces of it because then it will be still in her recipe. I don't want to do that. So I'll link the cookbook and the video that I shared this dinner in, in case you're interested, down below in my description box. So basically all I had to do was just kind of like pan fry up some pork chops. I made some gravy with some bell peppers and then I also made some rice to serve with the gravy. That's basically the gist of the dinner. But like I said, if you're interested in this recipe, I'll link the cookbook down below in my description box. This week's last dinner idea that I'm going to be sharing with y'all, I actually went off my menu a little bit and I decided to make some loaded nachos and some pigs in the blanket and also some crock pot meatballs with the grape jelly and the chili sauce. So my husband was coming home this day and he actually came home a little bit early and he requested this dinner. It was kind of an off the wall dinner, but I made it happen. So to make little smokies, all you are pigs in the blanket. Sometimes we call them little smokies, sometimes we call them pigs in the blanket, but all you'll need is some little smoky sausages and some biscuits. And I just wrapped those smokies up in the um, biscuits and then I just baked them by the directions on the back of the biscuit package. It's pretty simple and easy and my family loves them. And then for the meatballs, all I had to do was dump in a bag of frozen meatballs into my crock pot and add a bottle of grape jelly and a bottle of chili sauce and I just cooked that on low for about four hours. Then I just cut up several chicken breasts into little chunks and then I just um, cooked those chicken breasts in some butter and some olive oil and I also seasoned them up with some taco seasoning and this is what we're going to top with our nachos with and I also cooked up some bell peppers in the um, butter and olive oil after my chicken was done. Right here is some Tostitos tortilla chips that we're going to use. We're going to lay those flat on our plate then we're going to top with cheese and then we're going to top with our chicken and bell peppers and then we're also going to add some of those jalapenos to the top. And then here is our Smokies once they were done. I just wanted to share them with y'all just in case y'all was wondering how they looked after they were done. But here is my plate of loaded nachos. These things are really good, y'all, and I highly recommend y'all giving this dinner a try. Even though it was kind of crazy and off the wall, it was really delicious. But that's it for this week's What's For Dinner video, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. I would love for you to join my YouTube family. Thank you all so much for watching today, and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye, y'all.